welcome to my channel i'm courtney from buckle up adventures and this is a different type of video i'm gonna go ahead and kind of do like a journal of my carpal tunnel surgery as you can see my hand is wrapped up i had carpal tunnel surgery yesterday so i know when i was about to go through this process i started looking up youtube videos and i've seen a lot of people had questions so i'm gonna go ahead and um answer some questions tell you how the procedure went for me um if I'm in pain now. So for the past 11 years, I have been a chef at a senior living facility. And so I do quite a lot of using my hand and picking up heavy pots and pans and stirring and mixing items. So it has eventually like just worn down my hand. And for the last probably year, it's been getting really bad. And um, they had no idea if it, cause it was first my shoulder and then went to my arm. So I finally got some, a lot of testing done. Um, and I would have said the EGK, I think it was electric test. And they found out that I did have, um, carpal tunnel as well as cubicle tunnel, which is two, um, compressed nerves. And I got the option to get in both surgeries done, the carpal tunnel and a cubicle at the same time. And I, decided just to go with the carpal tunnel because my doctor said maybe um just go to carpal tunnel first because it might help with the whole pain in my arm because the cubicle tunnel is the nerve that's going up the elbow like to the funny bone and I would have been off of work for a long period of time and I really just didn't have the time so for my carpal tunnel surgery I'm going to be off of work for six weeks and so yesterday I went in and I had the uh, surgery. The night before I couldn't eat past midnight and I could have clear liquids um, up to four hours before my um, procedure. And my procedure was, the surgery was at 12, but I had to be there at 10. Um, they did use um, local anesthesia. Um, I know when I first got there, um, they had me wiped down with like some um wipes make sure you know your body's clean they gave me it was a tylenol three and i know i sat there in the um, room watching tv and i was watching chopped on the food network and you know for maybe about an hour and, and a half because my doctor ended up coming early the um anesthesiologist came in and you know went over all the paperwork with me for that and you know they um came in and went to take me away they put the um medicine in my iv for anesthesia and it happened really fast um i know they he told me he was putting the um medicine in the iv i know they pushed me to the um where the surgeon was the surgery and i remember um seeing my doctor and next thing I know, I woke up and I was done and I was wrapped up. Um, oh, I can backtrack. Before that, my doctor did come in and talk to me about the procedure, told me where he was going to um, do the incision, what the whole procedure was. But um, when I did come out, I wasn't necessarily in pain. I was cold. <laughs> you know, hospitals are and like um outpatient places they're always cold for some reason so i was kind of cold and they also had me on ice like an ice pack um my fingers like all my fingers were numb all the fingertips um i can just now start moving them but yesterday um almost all day yesterday they were completely numb and i was just like my hand was just like this like i couldn't move it at all um, I have filling in my fingers now, and I think that's mostly from the anesthesia, but my thumb right here is where I have the most pain and going down, but it's not, um, it's not super painful. They didn't prescribe me any pain medicine. Before I left, they gave me an Oxycontin. I think that said that right, Oxycontin. And, um, they just told me to take Tylenol extra strength and ibuprofen, kind of like switching back and forth every, um four hours for pain but I didn't get prescribed any pain medicine um I've been icing you can ice for 30 minutes on and 30 minutes off and you only can ice like you can't even feel like where you need to feel with ice so you, they tell you to get the part the forearm and the fingers you can ice 
and I've been doing that for a little bit especially on my fingers but now that I can move them um they said to try to like move, you know move your fingers and you know just to keep the blood flowing in them so I've been doing that um I've been elevating I have two pillows here and so um I've been sleeping with my hand up on the pillow and so far so good like um is not that painful at all so I totally thought I was gonna be in pain and probably need prescription medicine but no um it's a little uncomfortable but it's not painful um I haven't had really any issues I mean of course I can't use my hand I can't open the Tylenol bottle I need help for that um I had trouble trying to just put the toothpaste on my toothbrush today just because I need one hand to hold the toothbrush one hand to open the toothpaste but I need help with that um put my phone in charger last night like just plugging it the charger into the wall I needed help with but I was able to get dressed um I was able to I'm able to eat you know because this I am left-handed so this is my dominant hand and so it's a little adjustment getting to I um took a shower I just had to get a I did have to get help um someone wrap a bag the bag around my hand um so it didn't get wet and other than that like I haven't had any issues with much um I haven't had too much pain and they said this is day two like I had the surgery at 12 o'clock I probably was home I think I got home around 2 40 yeah 2 30 um and I had an online class at six o'clock and I was able to get online for my class I took a nap and got up and got online for my class so um I'm looking forward to seeing how this surgery helps with my hand pain because I was in a lot of pain like every single day was just numbness or just a lot of pain and um so far like I really think the procedure was successful um I like I said I'm not in a lot of pain um so I'm gonna probably just um tomorrow come back on here and tell you how I feel tomorrow and I have two days of wearing um it wrapped up and I'll definitely when it's time to unwrap this show you guys what the incision look like and see how it is I know it's a little swollen you can see my thumb my fingers are swollen um but yeah so this is actually the first full day of after having the surgery so I will come back on here and let you guys know how okay guys it is day two of my carpal tunnel surgery I just want to give you guys a quick update um I do have all the motion in my fingers except for the the thumb is just I can move it but anytime I extend it it does um, cause pain especially to the palm area so um, last night was kind of rough it's just my hand is so swollen and I think this wrap is just so tight that just was really um, uncomfortable trying to sleep I'm um, trying to have it elevated um, I'm getting some pain in the middle of my palm I think where the incision is and then mostly in the thumb area. Like anytime I move my thumb, but as you can see, the fingers are still uh, very swollen. Um, I can't grasp anything yet. Um, I tried to uh, put my deodorant on and gra grab it with this hand. I could not do it. It's still pain in the um, hand area. Um, I've still been taking the Tylenol and the ibuprofen. Um, I have to wear this wrap today and then tomorrow I can take it off and I'll definitely get back on here and show you guys what the incision looks like how my hand looks when the wrap is off but just a quick update day two um I would say right now the pain level is just like a two but last night it was probably got to a five just trying to get um comfortable sleeping and just um just tightness so um but yeah, so everything's still going good. I still think it's a successful procedure for carpal tunnel release. And um, I'll keep jumping on here um, and let you guys know how this journey is going for me. All right, so it's still day two of my surgery and I drove my car today. I just went around the corner to like the Dollar Tree. Um, I had to get some bandages and some Vaseline for when I take my um, bandage off tomorrow. So I was like, let me go ahead and just try to drive. And um, I did it fine. The only issue I had is like carrying my bag. And um, because I just, if I go to clasp my hand like this is when I have pain. So I tried to grab something. I was like, oh, no, that's not going to happen. 
and then earlier I tried to move my pillow with this hand not thinking and I collapsed down on it closed up and just like that like anything like I'm closing my hand up my fingers I can feel um the pain but other than that everything's still the same I took two ibuprofen today um so far that's it besides um talent two talent not earlier this morning um still swollen fingers I don't know it just feels so tight like I, the wrapping it just feels really tight now um especially around my thumb area but tomorrow this is coming off so we'll see how the hand looks see if I have more mobility in my hand see if any bruising that I may have which I think I probably have a little bruising so that's just a quick update for day two and tomorrow I'll go ahead and add um everything after I take off my wrapping. A lot of bruising here in the middle of my hand. Bruising down here. It was itching in this area here, and now I see why because it was bruised. A little yellow, greenish, blue. Um, it's still difficult to move it as far as bending the wrist. Um, but yeah, this is day three three after surgery um, and I finally was able to take the bandage off and I think there's four stitches there uh, yes I can't move that wrist set all right guys so I drove to my son's school to pick him up today um like I said to the I took my bandage off today um so this is really what I can do. I can't really like bend up and down. Um, I can move my fingers. So my thumb is like, it was so huge compared to my other hand. Like this is my other, this hand and then this hand. Um, a lot of bruising up in here, down where I put the um, band-aid. They did tell me to put a band-aid here. Um, I did rub a little uh, Vaseline on this part of my hand just because it's been so dry for the last couple days and not being able to um, wash it or uh, put lotion on. But still very sore, still very bruised. Um, yeah, so, but pain level, eh, I'm gonna say like a two or three. Not really painful, it's just more uncomfortable still. Um, Especially just trying to grip anything is just very hard. I can just feel it all in here and in this area. And it's like kind of itchy right here in this area here. You see all the bruising. My hand looks just so freaking big. It's like huge. Especially like my thumb. It's just so huge. But yeah, so um, this is the third day. First day without all the bandaging. Oh, I can make a fist. <laughs> kind of. I just it's just the thumb area so this all this area is just really sore still and yeah the stitches are in this area but yeah so um i still think everything's going good um pain le pain level is kind of limited um the most pain is at night time just trying to get comfortable um i think i took two tylenol earlier this morning but that's about it so this is day three Hey guys, it's day four of my post um, carpal tunnel release surgery on my left hand. And I just got out the shower and this is still um, the, I don't know, the surgical tape they put there. They said to keep that on, but I can lift it and you can kind of see, I have four stitches here. Um, and I put a bandage over that, but I just wanted to show you guys. Still some bruising, um, not a lot of bruising. I had a lot of bruising in here, it kind of went down. And my my hand was so swollen, like my thumb was huge. They're actually the same size now, basically. Just a little swollen here, still. 
but so much movement. I can actually move my wrist now. Um, all my fingers, I can go up a little, you know, so much this way. But just, I can move my wrist and it feels great. Like this is, I could not do this the first couple of days. Um, all my fingers, only I'm having trouble still grasping. So like this does kind of hurt. And anything using the, the thumb because it is connected down. So I can do this, I can do this. But when it gets to that finger and I'm kind of like going over, I can't touch it and I can't touch that one. Um, I was able to put my bra on today. I have not been able to put my bra on at all. Um, it was difficult, it took some time, but I was able to collapse it. With, with the, you just using one hand and just kind of like maneuvering it, but I was able to do that. Um, the bruising is still here, it's, it's going down. It looks way better than um, yesterday or even the day before, but definitely yesterday it was so swollen. Um, yeah, this is, I'm so happy I can like move my wrist, I can crack my knuckles. Which I know you're not supposed to, but sometimes it just feels good when your your hand is in pain. But yeah, this is is good. Um, pain level. Um, it's not necessarily pain. I would say just a two. It's just more uncomfortable. Um, last night was just horrible. I could not sleep. It's just about positioning yourself. Um, I have that pillow there with the backrest. It kind of helps. But if you have a recliner chair, it'd probably be good because you can kind of like put your arm up. I don't have one but that would probably be good to sleep in um hand a little itchy just from being dry and putting some um Vaseline or lotion here um right in here I can feel just like when I touch it a little just a little uncomfortableness but overall not too much pain I haven't even taken any pain pills since yesterday in the daytime so um it's probably like 11 30 or 11 o'clock in the morning right now and I'm doing good. Um, I'm about to put a bandage on there because I need to cover it up. I, I, I've been using my mouth for a lot of stuff um, because I, I just can't grip stuff. I can like put it in between these fingers, but nothing with the thumb. But I've been figuring it out. Believe me, once you all right, start figuring things out and maneuvering it, you'll be okay. So just gonna cover that up. Um, I got these large bandages, these work good. I got it at the Dollar Tree. Um, I wish they had waterproof ones. I should probably go to Walmart so I can get waterproof ones, but I haven't drove driven far. Just And this Dollar Tree's around the corner and with one hand, I just don't wanna be really on the road like that so these are working fine but if you are about to get the surgery i do recommend getting um waterproof large bandages so you don't have to like every time i get out the shower i gotta change it so but i did for the first time run water over my hand because i was able to you just can't submerge it you know wash dishes or anything like that but um yeah so this is day four um so far so good not a lot of pain um couple tips you know if you are a girl make sure you have some help especially with like just you know putting your bra on your hair like do give a simple that's why i did the simple got my hair braided so i don't have to even worry about it because there's no way i could put my hand in a ponytail my hair like i can't even that's another thing just reaching back with this hand you can just feel the pain going you just feel it going up this here but um overall day four carpal tunnel release on my left my dominant hand and um pretty good minimal pain um slight uncomfortableness like i said especially at nighttime just trying to relax um i have an ice in it and i'll take tylenol or ibuprofen as needed but so far i haven't needed anything today but i'm about to go get an ice pad and just um definitely just put it over top of this area here just to um help with the swelling and bruising and um i like to sit up with the pillow like i said and I, like I sit up on that and then I have two pillows stacked and I put my arm on it like this and um it's kind of comfortable so yeah so that's um my day four of my carpal tunnel release guys so definitely if you have any questions about this procedure if you're about to um get it done um you have any worries or questions definitely just leave a 
in the comment i'll definitely reply and um like i said this is my fourth day after um carpal tunnel release and um actually it's going way better than i expected so i still have um i'm off of work for six weeks but it's just because i cook for a living and picking up pots and pans they just you know can't do as heavy but um yeah so everything is good um go ahead and give this video a like um and go ahead and subscribe if you like and um i hope that if you are getting carpal tunnel release surgery that seeing these videos kind of ease your um worries and help you with any questions you may have you may have and um you know everything um with the carpal tunnel surgery i hope it goes well with you guys and i appreciate you watching my video all right, so I am on day five of my carpal tunnel release surgery on my left dominant hand, and here it is. You see me put my hand down back up because I got like a sharp pain when I did that. Um, you still see the bruising in the palm area. Um, right now it's hurting when I expand my hand for some reason. Like everything, like yesterday was fine, and then I don't know today. Like I still got a lot of movement. It's just kind of in that middle area where the um, coloring is, the bruising. It's a little painful today. Um, yeah, I'm not sure. And then I got to put my new bandage on, but my stitches are looking fine. Um, but yeah, just a little pain today right in the middle of my hand over this area. My thumb is where I'm pointing. Um, it's still bruised. Um, but like I said, I still got a lot of motion, movement. I can do way more than I could in the beginning. Um, I still can't, like you can tell, I can't grasp anything. I can't even like, even hold my remote control. Like it's just, I can't really um, do any grasping or gripping of anything right now. Um, so hopefully I'll see like open just, I can't open my hand all the way. And I could do that yesterday, that's weird. Um, yeah, I don't know why it's sore. I didn't do anything odd. Um, yeah so i don't know it must be sore but yeah this is day five um ow even with my thumb today is it's all like right in here it's just killing me i don't know what's going on today but it's kind of worse than yesterday which is odd i see like i can't open my hand but uh, so weird but yeah, um, I'm going to put my bandage on here. I'm probably going to take um, Tylenol just because I don't know what's going on today. But um, I guess it's every day. You just never know how you're going to feel. Um, I'm just hoping I can just start getting more um, ability to just like grab stuff. Like I can't even eat like with a fork with this hand. Um, I can barely like pick anything up. It's just so weird. Um, but it's a process, so only five days out of surgery. But I just wanted to jump on here and give you guys a quick update since I've been doing a little daily update every day um, of how my hand's going so far. All right, guys, this is day six of the carpal tunnel release on my left dominant hand. Um, it's still a little bruised in the middle, as you can see. Um, it does hurt when I open my hand all the way up. I can move on my fingers, I can move my hand. Um, it does hurt when I'm like turning it like this. Anything where I am um, opening my hand up or extending my fingers all the way up hurts. I can do it down, but like, um, you know, making an open hand hurts. And anywhere along the stitches are kind of hurting. But other than that, everything's getting better. Um, like I, I'm still uh, having difficulty grabbing things, but I can see um, it's getting better. I did grab a fork today, but I still been eating with my um, my right hand just because it's like, it's just a little difficult. But um, yeah, hopefully I'm just waiting for this bruising to go down in the middle of my hand because I got a little bit of bruising here still. But other than that, like all the other bruising went away, uh, all the swelling went away. Um, I do have my follow appointment on what's it, in a couple days, uh, four, four days I believe, and I'm going to get my stitches out. So I think once I get my stitches out that it'll be less pain because I think that it, the stitches is pulling and so when I'm moving my hand or anything, I think that, that's what I'm thinking the issue is, is the stitches. So 
I can't wait to get those stitches out and I think after that I should be able to do way much more and hopefully I can get more strength in my hands so I can start grabbing things and doing more stuff with my um left hand because I, I had to like try to sign some papers it was just so hard trying to hold the um pen and anything so um yeah so that's just a quick update for you guys on day six i had to think what day has been because tomorrow will be one week since i had the actual surgery but a quick update for you guys hey guys so it is day 12 um of my surgery i got my stitches out two days ago um it looks really good actually um my hand is dry y'all don't make fun of my ashy hand but i can't put enough lotion on it keeps getting like white like getting ashy like this so i gotta keep putting lotion on but i just wanted to show you guys actual you know of my hand i thought my friend was lying when she kept saying her hand was so dry but yeah it's so dry like this is my this hand and then this hand but um my stitches i guess it did split a little bit in the skin and my doctor said that it's not too deep it's in the top layer of skin so he doesn't have to do anything but he told me not to um do much with my hand for two more weeks so a total of four weeks of just light um activities like no pushing no grabbing stuff heavy no pick um pushing down and stuff so just basically taking it easy um so that's what i'm gonna be doing but um it is hard right up in here i um i don't have a lot of pain a little uncomfortableness like in this area and just on the scar area but in two weeks he told me i can start taking um cocoa butter or lotion and um massaging it into the um scar tissue with a little pressure but he said right now i can't it's just too early and i have that split can you guys see that split i know it looks nasty i'm sorry guys but just so if you're getting this surgery you do know what to expect but um getting the stitches out i didn't know that it was gonna be kind of I mean, it was hurt a little bit um like the third stitch i don't know if they had it in wrong and that's where like this um tear in the skin is but when they pulled that one out it really hurt my hand was stinging he said i had a little bit of like spreading of the bruising on this side which a little bit of bruising here still by my thumb but he said it was all good and he said that um it looks great and so yeah so every after overall um the surgery was a success. Um, I'm I'm already happy with my results. I can do so much more. I'm not in pain every day. Um, still just a little uncomfortable. That's just because I'm still healing. But if you are um, getting this surgery or you're worried or anything, um, I would say go ahead and go for it. And just know um, you might be uncomfortable for a little bit, but it's nothing that you can't do. It's not. It's a very easy and simple surgery. And um, my doctor told me I. In two weeks to let him know if i want to go back to work he recommends me being off of work for six weeks just because of my job type cooking and picking up pots and pans but he also said that if i really want to go back in two weeks um that he'll write me a note for like light duty so i'm probably gonna do that because i need to get back to work but other than that everything has been good i'm um super happy with the results of my carpal tunnel release surgery and again, if you have any questions or comments, just go ahead and leave it in the comment section. You can like, share, subscribe this video. And um, thank you for coming along on this carpal tunnel uh, journey with me.